Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be giving you a professional outlook on the altcoin market. In particular, I'm going to be looking at Ethereum today and Ethereum for me is the leading indicator for the rest of the altcoins. Okay, so when Ethereum is moving down, we're generally seeing, you know, 95% of the altcoin market also down. When Ethereum is strong in green, we're generally seeing 95% of the altcoin market strong in green. So Ethereum really is this kind of leading indicator for the rest of the alts. So I'm going to focus on Ethereum today. I'll give you my opinions and thoughts on this. And thus, in essence, you know, really the rest of the altcoin market. Um, you know, I'll give a quick 30 second recap here uh, on Bitcoin. But my main focus here is is on Ethereum. OK, so that's what you'll be understanding today. And yeah, so quick 30 seconds here on Bitcoin. Uh, really simply, we had our sideways range that we came down to range low, ended up losing range low to around the CC. And from that, we started to get acceptance back into our value area low. And it was like I was saying over on Twitter, right? acceptance into the value area low we look towards the value area high on this value area high there we also had a naked point of control and so uh you know this is obviously our next target and resistance to the upside in the end what actually happened is we came up to that value area high and we did get the rejection okay really simply a wick onto the level from there we started to change market structure a secondary test before coming down so this was a prediction that i made in uh a daily morning live stream update as the guy says here daily updates are invaluable um, and today in a few hours time i have my next daily morning trading update where i'm going to be focusing here on bitcoin so if you want my new uh, bitcoin analysis biases and thought processes that's what you'll get in today's champions daily morning trading update every day you get this my next live stream will be later today for bitcoin uh, but yeah really simply this is what i was looking at and here we can see how it obviously, um, you know, played out as we did get acceptance into the value area low. You can see here value area high on the NPOC target really simply wicked onto that level. Move back down. We actually retested it here to the absolute dollar, by the way. Uh, retest once again of that target before, you know, large drop to the downside. So. You know, it's just to show you here that once you have got your levels, you have got your targets, it's definitely possible. And, you know, just so you understand, there's no random pivots here, right? So you can see from a, you know, a prediction to how price played out, you know, coming up to exact targets, exact levels, you're getting, you know, pretty perfect reactions off of these levels. And, you know, it just goes to show you there's nothing ever random in this market. Each of the levels, each of the reactions, each of the pivots are based off of here, the technical analysis. Um, so, yeah, let's quickly run down on Bitcoin. And I just want to, you know, as focused and said, I want to primarily focus here on Ethereum. So I'm going to start off looking at ETH BTC. Then we'll bring it over to Ethereum against USD. Uh, but I like to start off here on the ETH BTC chart. As this is what helps gives me that biases, of course, this is against the Bitcoin chart. So we see Ethereum strength against Bitcoin. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, really simply, of course, I've done a, uh, an Ethereum video would have been last week now, almost, yeah, over seven days ago, right? And we obviously had the big target of the ETH BTC pair on this point of control. And we can see how we come up to that point of control. Okay, spent a little bit of time above it. So this is what we could almost class as like a failed auction above the POC, right? Uh, we come above the level and then boom, you know, real quick, heavy move to the downside. So it's very, and this is also why we don't look at something as the exact dollar, especially as a, a, a level such as a point of control. It's not an exact dollar. It is, of course, classed as a zone. Um, so you come into that zone and then you get this like quite heavy pullback, uh, really. Of course, Bitcoin pullback is affecting ethereum naturally at the end of the day when bitcoin is moving down you have to expect altcoins to move down as well right uh, especially against the usd pairs when you look at the ethereum pair you know this has got quite a heavy pullback here but at the end of the day uh it is natural and expected to pull back from such levels of resistance this is a major level of resistance on the btc pair eth against btc so it's un it's just not expected to go blasting straight through the level and never looking back. So this for me is an acceptable pullback. And when we look at the USD pair, all we've done is we've moved up, formed our range upon the highs. And if you actually see here, formed a swing failure pattern, retest, back down. So Ethereum are much easier short and, uh, you know, real simply SFP pullback. But again, this isn't anything of extreme sort of danger or surprise or 
fear at the moment all we're simply doing is we've had a nice range we've broke out of that and then from resistance resistance we're now testing that as support okay so for me we've got a few key levels here to the downside of course the weekly which is also simply the resistance resistance support flip uh, but for me i'd be looking as this daily is a very nice level okay take out these previous days before the increase in price okay and the very what i would class as a absolute must hold level would be coming down to this lower daily around 1795 for me if we actually start to break down from here that would be a loss of our market structure because still at the end of the day we're building up these higher lows we come down to this daily for example it's still a higher low from here right so this is something to bear attention to of course you can do things visually like trend lines we can see how at the moment still higher lows at the end of the day so for me i'm not fearful i'm not worried I'm not scared, I'm not thinking it's the end of the world, ultra bearish, anything like this. I'm just trading the charts for what they are, okay? And for me, this is simply the ETH BTC pair came up to the point of control. Big, big resistance level, okay? We temporarily traded through it, but this is a zone and we've got to pull back from this naturally. Along with, of course, Bitcoin getting the pullback off of that value area high retest target has started to pull back towards 28k right so this naturally has also started has definitely pulled back heavy uh, but nevertheless it's it's still a, in an uptrend at the end of the day and we're pulling back now to the weekly resistance support test okay my preferred scenario would be to see a little bit of a lower test here uh, so let's just see here in terms of percentages oops didn't try to do that so in terms of percentages be about another three to uh, maybe 10% move to the downside. BTC here currently trading. Uh, we'll be looking for another three. Yeah, so that actually does make sense. ETH, ETH, if this uh, BTC pair sees a bit of strength or weakness, is there another 6% to the downside? So we are definitely approaching support here. Daily level here, really nice level indeed. I'm very interested in this daily at $1,891, um, $1, to be honest with you. Um, for me, this is a very interesting, well, also very important support level. Um, personally, I'm more than happy to uh, long these type of levels. For me, um, you know, if we get a dip in an uptrend, it's a long opportunity. You know, I'm not going to be here sat fearful or, or shorting support here. For me, the short trades are too late now. You know, <laughs> just, you, just you're not going to see me interested in the uh, shorts of support at, at weekly, you know, resistance support back tests or come especially down here at the daily you know if we get a another subsequent move down here okay be it to this daily or the lover daily you're not going to see me you know jumping into shorts down here at the lows in fear no for me these are opportunities to buy the dip of course um you know it's very important to note sometimes you will um, buy the dip in an uptrend and then that trend changes and you have to be able to recognize that weakness right but historically speaking, over the past, you know, basically the whole of 2023, I have been bullish. I have been buying the dips. I have been, uh, you know, bullishly biased towards upside. And that has paid very generously, very generously indeed, making a, you know, a lot of profits from training the trends. I do recognize, though, at some point this trend is going to change and I will lose you know, the last few trades of essentially buying the dip because then we've gone from an uptrend and started to return to a downtrend. Um, so at some point, we do have to recognize that that buying the dip strategy and the uptrend at key support levels is going to fail. Uh, but of course, by now, we've already made heavy profits by doing that strategy. And at this moment in time, there's no reason to think that it's still not a nice opportunity. Uh, if I take a loss, I'm more than happy to do so. I'm not just going to buy the dip and buy the dip and buy the dip and buy the dip once I've seen a clear trend change because that would just be that would just be a very bad idea <laughs> indeed, right? And I'm not the kind of guy that does bad ideas. So, you know, I'll continue to trade my strategy, trend, continue to trade the trends as it stands. And that for me would be a nice opportunity down here around the daily. Okay, I would do a last opportunity of around this lower daily. But if we start to lose that, that for me is then a sign of weakness. Okay, um, you know, that still at the end of the day is forming a higher low here on the ETH BTC pair. And for me, a big, big sign of weakness would be losing the value area low. That very bearish indeed. Uh, but as it stands, it's not done that right. So support is support until it's not. And then it flips into resistance. 
and so if that happens we have to trade the charts let's not hold a bias that's not just you know oh you know daniel was looking for high and now we've lost support you know i'm not going to be still looking for high i'm going to update my bias trade the trends but as it stands we are hitting back into very important support and for me you know this trading the charts is support and it is naturally buy opportunities right so um prepared to take a loss and of course i will do that i'm not going to hold on to underwater trades uh, but for me yeah the long opportunities are here and and you know vivid and, and clear as day on the charts uh so i will be interested in this pro firstly around the daily then to the lower daily of course keeping eye on bitcoin bitcoin absolute star of the show if you ignore bitcoin if you're not following bitcoin you will be losing it's as simple as that you have to be following bitcoin that's where the money is that's where the flow and ebb of the market comes from so if you're sleeping on bitcoin you're sleeping on the profits and you're sleeping on you know the absolute must need to know assets of the cryptocurrency market uh, so if you want to see my updates today on bitcoin of course chartchampions.com live daily morning stream update i will give you my next analysis on bitcoin this was an idea of that i had last time and we can see how that played out absolutely perfectly uh here on the btc chart right so uh yeah if you want to get involved on my update of btc live stream this morning you know what to do chartchampions.com that's where you got the live streams from myself and of course the other coaches who are doing an absolutely amazing job right now uh so yeah shout out to the other coaches right now very 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 good job indeed and uh you know for the rest of the educational content and all that good stuff that's also over on the website right chartchampions.com uh so yeah i'm just going to wrap it up there i'm going to say thank you ever so much if you've enjoyed this video you know what to do hit that like button hit the subscribe and uh just to let you know i'm, I'm going to be releasing a video uh, probably later today or tomorrow on the other channel that we have of CC Pool. So if you want to check out the Bitcoin against the banks, if you want to check out uh, staking altcoins, which assets I'm staking, how to get involved, uh, then that's going to be released on the CC Pool uh, YouTube channel. So this is another channel that we have alongside this one. Uh, I'll leave the links to that if you're interested down in the description or comments below. Uh, but yeah, I am going to release a video uh, today or tomorrow for staking altcoins. Uh, Bitcoin against the banks, all that <laughs> juicy information over on the CC Pool channel. For me, that's just a wrap up. You know where to get me if you want to see more updates. And that'll be next over on the website. So, yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. Hope you have a brilliant day, brilliant week, and a uh, good weekend to come. Thank you ever so much. I uh, love you all, and that's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.